Boardman. You know, just one of the reasons I love Disneyland is it's a place where things aren't always what they seem to be. It's a place where the unreal can become real, and the real can become unreal. <laughs> 25 years ago, a brand new form of entertainment opened up right here in the Enchanted Tiki Room. It was a new way of bringing inanimate objects to life called audio animatronics. Isn't that right, Jose? See, si. <laughs> This is Jose, one of the stars of the Enchanted Tiki Room. And you've been working here day in, day out well, since 1963, right? See, si. Uh-huh. And you were part of the very first audio animatronic show ever, right? See. Si. Uh, don't you say anything besides see? See my voice behind you. <laughs> see my voice behind you? <laughs> oh, it's Wally. This is Wally Bogue, the star and comedian of the original Disneyland Golden Horseshoe Review. See? Now, cut that out, Wally. <laughs> <laughs> don't you hate these one-word interviews? Yeah. Oh, see? <laughs> I don't know. Shall we sit down? Let's. Okay. Wally? Yeah. Take me back to the very beginning of the Enchanted Tiki Room, will you? Okay, let's go back. Oh, no. Well, 24, let's go back 24 years ago when I had the pleasure of working with Walt. One morning we went in and we presented our script. He says, that's it. Let's record it. The next day we recorded it. It's still going here in Florida. The same show. We didn't change word. One of Wally's Tiki Room writing partners, Marty Sklar, is now president of Walt Disney Imagineering. Audio animatronics was an idea of Walt's to carry out the animation that, it, that he really started in cartoons. And over time, he became interested in taking that out of a two-dimensional form and moving it into a three-dimensional form. So he experimented with ways that he could move small figures. Early on, uh, Walt had Buddy Epson come in and do a dance routine for him, and he photographed it. Then he had the engineers try to duplicate the dance with a small figure that was manipulated by cams and wires. When Disneyland came along, Walt wanted to have different uh, kinds of human and animal forms in the shows. Audio animatronics was used for the first time in a show in Disneyland called The Enchanted Tiki Room, where birds sing and, and uh, flowers croon, as they say. Well, the New York World's Fair was really a watershed in the development of audio animatronics because all of uh, what Walt Disney did at the New York World's Fair depended on this new uh, process. We did uh, four shows for the fair. Uh, great moments with Mr. Lincoln, which later became the Hall of Presidents at uh, the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World, and uh, a show called the Carousel of Progress that we did for General Electric uh, that played after the World's Fair played for five years in Disneyland and then another ten years in Walt Disney World has just closed as the longest running show in the history of the theater. And the third show was called Magic Skyways and uh, it became the uh, primeval diorama at Disneyland that was part of that show. But the fourth is easily the best known and uh, probably the favorite uh, uh, show that's ever been done in the Disney parks, and that's It's a Small World. We already had in the ground in New Orleans at Disneyland the foundations and the steel for a major show about the Pirates of the Caribbean, which was going to be a walkthrough. When we came back from the first year of the World's Fair, Walt said, we can't do this as a walkthrough. We've learned too much. So. He tore, had the steel torn out of New Orleans, and we went back to square one and developed the whole idea for the boat ride through the Pirates of the Caribbean with probably 85 or 90 pirates sacking the town and attacking ships, and probably has become the quintessential uh, uh, major theme show in a Disney park. Over time, we have uh, continued to develop these figures, always trying to achieve more lifelike animation to a point where the American Adventure became 
the epitome of that kind of animation. Thomas, it is difficult to make 13 clocks chime at the same time, but we must carefully justify the separation. Dr. Franklin, while you slept soundly through the meeting this afternoon, we did manage to justify separation. The Bear Band Bears will play now in the good old key of G. Zeke and Zeb and Ted and friend Bear named Tennessee. Zeke's twanging on banjo and a tapping with his feet. A banging on a dish pine with a real old country beat. I met up with two of the wizards who helped program these amazing figures. Now, how do you make the move? Well, it's all done on this computer system here, and it's analog and digital control, where you simply uh, turn a knob like this here, and the computer records it immediately. And just by pushing a button, it'll play it back. Eric, why don't you give it a try here? Oh, great. Henry, loan me five bucks, huh? Hey, Dave. I'm a bear programmer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Eric, you obviously are the guy who makes Dave move, right? In some ways, I guess that's true. I try to su uh, supply the technical support that uh, Dave needs while he's programming the show. Things have gotten much smaller since we began, but took a room full of equipment in Tiki and many cabinets. is now done on a single panel for this show and for some of the new shows that we're doing. This is state of the art now. What was it like 25 years ago? In the very beginning, like the Tiki show, it started off with um, a whole different system where it's, where it's all audio tones. From there, it moved on to like Mr. Lincoln, where uh, we actually had a programmer sit in a harness and try and move that around. And then to Pirates of the Caribbean, where it was all done on cams, where you had these little records. You had to actually cut them out to form a shape and then play that back in order to get the right motion. But now today, it's all done on computer. It's real simple. You just turn a knob and automatically you can play it back. Dave, it all seems so perfect. Uh, does anything ever go wrong? Things go wrong all the time. Um, for example, uh, once uh, Gomer, we had a little problem with him with the computer, where when it went out um, with 500 pounds of oil pressure, he actually picked up his piano and threw it on one of the other bears. In your dreams at night, you see bears? Every night. Depends upon what you're programming. If it's Mr. Lincoln, uh, you know, anything can happen. The Pirates of the Caribbean. Does he ever catch that woman? I mean, he's been chasing that one winch for over 20 years, and he never catches her. In your dream, I catch the girl, but uh, the pirate doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see from the Enchanted Tea... <laughs> I guess I better go off. Uh, sorry, Henry. The show's about to start. So as you can see, from the Enchanted Tiki Room to Star Tours, 25 years of hard work by Walt Disney Imagineers has made the world of audio animatronics nothing short of miraculous.